Imagine giving birth to your long-awaited baby and finally making it to the finish line, only to discover that you have to do it all over again. Lindsay Altis knows the feeling. When the 30-year-old mom of one went into labor with her second child, she had no idea of the surprise awaiting her. You do not want to miss this story. Lindsay Altis Lindsay Altis and her hubby Wesley live in Wisconsin in the United States. The couple was happy in love and everything seemed to be going great for them. They were enjoying seeing their little son Django becoming a toddler and they had a second baby on the way who they could not wait to hold in their arms. Lindsay knew a couple of things for sure. She wanted to have a natural water birth at home, but she was not planning on doing ultrasounds. During a water birth, the mother is submerged in water while giving birth. This usually happens in a stationary or inflatable tub, called a birthing tub. Hospitals are increasingly giving women the option of going through labor or giving birth in a pool of warm water as it is supposed to be more relaxing, both for the baby and the mother. Lindsay, however, wanted a water birth at home. And to be able to do this, it was important that there were no complications whatsoever with the baby or herself. In the beginning, the pregnancy seemed to be going well. At certain points, she felt extremely swollen and she also had terrible morning sickness followed by a month of unbelievable migraines that even the chiropractor could not help with. But these types of ailments are not unusual during pregnancy. However, towards the end, things changed. Her midwife worried that she might be carrying a breached baby and recommended an ultrasound. A breached pregnancy is when a baby is positioned bottom down in the later stages of a pregnancy. So instead of coming out head first as is normal, the baby comes out bottom first. Although most breech babies are born healthy, they do have a slightly higher risk for certain problems than babies in the normal position do. Lindsay and Wesley wanted to make sure that everything was okay and although she had not planned for it, she went in to get an ultrasound. The ultrasound showed that she was not dealing with a breech baby but with a compound presentation. A compound presentation is a fetal presentation in which an extremity, such as an arm or a hand, presents alongside the part of the fetus closest to the birth canal. Her midwife warned her that she would not let labor happen naturally with a compound presentation, so Lindsay was eager for the baby to move so she could have the natural home birth she was dreaming of. A second ultrasound a couple of days later was required, and this one revealed that the baby had moved and that they were good to go. But little did Lindsay know that doing two unexpected ultrasounds would not be the only surprise that she would be dealing with during this pregnancy. Then came the big day. Their baby was ready to be delivered. The couple wanted to be surprised by the gender, so they still did not know if it was a boy or a girl. But Lindsay definitely had a strong preference. I was hoping for a girl, and my husband's family is all boys, so I was really crossing my fingers, she said. Would her wish be granted? After much anticipation, the little bundle of joy was born, and to Lindsay's delight, it was a baby girl. They named her Ada Mays. Lindsay was quite suspicious that Ada came out so small. She had put on double the weight she did with the last birth, so she did not understand how her little girl could be so tiny. When she had her son Django a few years previous, he was 4 kilos, and she put on less weight with him than she did with Ada. She found this to be rather odd, but thought nothing more of it. Tiny or not, Ada was healthy, and that was the most important thing. Lindsay and Wesley were over the moon, and the couple were more than ready to fully enjoy this beautiful and intimate moment with the three of them. But then, something strange happened. Lindsay and her hubby thought their childbirth experience was over for the day but she only had a moment to enjoy her achievement before feeling another very large contraction hit. Followed by what she describes as a second ring of fire. The doctor midwife said, oh, that is just the placenta coming out, Lindsay recalled. Then a nurse midwife said, oh, that is the water sack. I have never seen that before. All the while, Lindsay herself could not get any words out, but it did not take long before she realized what was going on. Her job was not completely done yet. The only words I could say were OF, which really describes every feeling I was having. Lindsay said, 
from the pain to realizing what was happening to not being able to verbalize any of it to the doctor or my husband. What was going on? Luckily, soon enough, the nurses understood that what they were looking at was not a water sack at all. It was another baby. Lindsay said there are no words to describe what she was thinking when she realized she was about to have another baby right there and then. The next contraction was almost instant. I knew what was happening before the nurses started saying what they thought it was. I could feel the baby coming out, but could not communicate because of the painful contraction, Lindsay said. She had no idea that she was about to have twin girls, nor did any of the doctors or nurses. Her pregnancy showed no signs that she had a second baby growing inside her at any point. The whole room went crazy and was buzzing with conversation as everyone was left stunned at the sudden arrival. My husband was in shock. My sister was taking pictures and I don't think any of us had a clue how to feel, she said. I was in pure shock too. I had a million thoughts that I could not process because I was completely overwhelmed, so I just submitted to the moment. And I think my face says it all in the pictures. I might have set a world record for how many times someone can scream, oh my god, in 10 minutes, she joked. 17 minutes after baby Ada arrived, Lindsay's second daughter, Billie Jean, was born. The twins joined their older brother, Django, who, like his parents, had been expecting to meet only one baby sibling. Lindsay is still not sure how the twins were not detected throughout the 38 weeks she was pregnant. When I went into labor, they hooked me up to the baby monitor and there was only a reading of one heartbeat. And as soon as she knew she was pregnant, she had searched for a midwife who checked position and measured fundal height during every appointment. The height always matched what it would be for having one baby for each week. And in fact, the whole pregnancy was exactly like when she had her son. I would feel my belly all the time, and my midwife felt it at every appointment as well, Lindsay continued. You couldn't feel a second baby. She had also had two ultrasounds, and she even got a recording of them. And even looking at the images now, she can still not see a second baby in them. Lindsay said, I think because they were just checking fluid levels and not checking for a second fetus. All they saw was that Ada had moved a little. I'm sure that if they would have been looking for two babies, they would have found two. But unexpected or not, once you realize the situation was real and not a crazy pregnancy dream, Lindsay was overjoyed. Photos of the surprised look on her face went viral after she shared her story on social media. It was just beautiful. I will never forget the indescribable feelings behind those pictures, she said. So how common is it for a twin to go undetected during a pregnancy? Dr. Christine Greaves, a board-certified OBGYN, says being unaware of a twin pregnancy is very rare when regular prenatal care is involved. An ultrasound performed later in pregnancy is unlikely to miss finding the second fetus or hidden twin, Grief said. It could be more common when the babies share the same amniotic sac because the babies may be forced so closely together that shadowing could affect things on a quick scan. But cases like this one are very unlikely. Today, the twin girls are almost two years old. It has been so much fun watching them grow together and my son is such a good big brother, Lindsay gushed. It is so beautiful. It has definitely been challenging at times, but everything you go through as a parent is worth it in the end. When it first happened, we were having an oh crap moment, but now that we have settled and that we know how to look after twins, we just love it. It is a total blessing in disguise and the kids themselves are great. Our son Django adores the twins and they all get on so well. I love looking back at the photographs because I think they show exactly how I was feeling. There is no hiding how I felt. As soon as I realized what was happening, I was in shock, but also beyond happy. I think everything happens for a reason. I was a little worried about sharing the pictures because it is such an intimate moment, but I am thrilled we have them. I look at them all the time. I will even show them to the kids when they are older, but maybe not all of them. Lindsay hoped to have a little baby girl, and her wish was granted times two. This goes to show that you better be careful what you wish for, because you might just get it, and even more. How do you think you would react if you would discover you are about to have a surprise twin?
share your opinion in the comments. See you tomorrow in the next video.